How is it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be changing up the rear end of the FRS by swapping out the taillights. Now when I first got this car it came with these stock taillights which I'm not a huge fan of and on top of that they were filled with water so they were one of the first things to go. Now if you follow on the FT speed side of things you may know that we used to have an 8.6, the silver 8.6 that unfortunately got into an accident on our way to road Atlanta and it got totaled. But I did have the stock set of taillights from that car that I am a big fan of. I think they look fantastic from the factory so I decided to throw those on the car and it worked perfect with the red paint. Now don't get me wrong I still think they look really good even after I wrap the back of the car black but I just wanted to change things up a little bit to see how it would look. So today I've got two different options that I'm going to test fit on the car and we're going to see which ones look better and which ones are going to stay on the car. And before I do take off the OEM 17 plus taillights, I'm going to run through the functions with you guys to show you how they look. All right, so these are the running lights across the top here. And as I step on the brake, you'll see the circular part of the taillight light up and that top bar gets a little bit brighter as well. And if I shut everything off, hit the hazards, that is going to be the turn signal. If you guys are curious on how easy it is to remove the taillights, I'll run through it real quick with you guys. Now obviously I have everything removed in my trunk, but you'll just need to take some pop clips out and basically fold back the lining of the trunk and that's gonna give you access to the back of the taillight. The first thing I'm gonna do is unplug the taillight. And on the driver's side, you can see the harness is connected to the studs of the taillight in two places. So one in the top uh, left-hand corner and one on the top right. So we're gonna just pull these off of the studs. And now there are four um, eight millimeter nuts that are holding the taillight in place. So we're gonna go ahead and remove those. Once you have those four nuts removed, you can place one hand behind the taillight right here to push it out and use the other hand on the outside to guide the taillight out of the car. To install the new taillights, it's just the reverse process. You wanna make sure the tab on the taillight goes into this hole here, and then we can reinstall the nuts and plug the taillights in. So these are the Helix Depot K-Shade taillights, obviously with a red lens. I've always been a fan of the dark red or smoked red taillights. These also have a tri-bar running light design that kind of plays off of the stripes on the car. So it works out pretty well. Uh, let me hop inside the car and I'll run through the functions for you guys. So like I said, the running lights are gonna be that tri-bar setup that I think looks absolutely sick. Once I step on the brake, you'll see that the brake lights are in between the running lights. And I'll turn off the running lights so you can see the brakes again. Then I'll hit the hazards, and those are going to be the turn signals on the underside of the light. So those are the first option. Let's go ahead and pop these off, and then we will get the second ones installed. These are the oh so popular Valenti tail lights with a red lens and chrome base. Now, to be honest, these do look very similar to the lights that were on the car already. The biggest difference probably is the running light instead of the top section here. It wraps around the whole tail light, which I'm a big fan of. Uh, there is a bit of an issue with these tail lights right now. They are currently pinned for a JDM vehicle. So when I turn on the running lights, the turn signal turns on. And then when I turn the turn signals on, the running light turns on. So I'm gonna have to repin re these real quick and then uh, we can go through the functions. As I mentioned, the running light is gonna be that bar that wraps all around the tail light. 
And then once I hit the brake, you'll see that the brake light is gonna be the bar in the middle section that slices through that running light there. And then I'll turn off the running light and hit the brakes just so you can see that by itself. And then I can hit the hazards and that is going to be our turn signal for the Valentis. After much consideration, you can see that I have taken the Valentis off of the car and we are going with the K-Shades. The Valentis just weren't doing it for me. They look too similar to what was already on the car as opposed to the K-Shades that just fit the theme of the build better with the tri-bar, the dark red. Plus these are no longer made, which makes them a bit harder to find and unique. So I'm into that and that is what we're gonna be going with and that's gonna be what is staying on the car. That pretty much wraps it up guys. The red K-Shades look absolutely killer on the car. Great contrast with the black and that tri-bar design is a unique design that you don't see too often. Let me know if you agree in the comment section down below. If not, let me know what taillights you would run or if you guys have any other suggestions on what I should do to the car next. I'm all ears, but yeah, that's it. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.